Passengers for bus number 833, please have your passes and tickets ready. You are ignoring the entire, the whole paradigm of balance and polarity, Susan. It is very feng shui lap. I'm reading a post cyberpunk apocalypse. So writing is just a way of denying the unavoidable pointlessness of the universe as it slips into the meaningless void of Jean-Paul Sartre makes a screamo kind of Japanese cell phone short story blog thing. She's probably halfway home by now. She's run away from the biker gang. That would be a horrible situation. They have no idea what they're in for. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they have insurance. <laughs> I kind of enjoy making that noise. <laughs> oh, you just want to be young again. Oh, I didn't want to be young in the first place. I hated being young. I honestly don't know how Rita does it. She has been alive, the writer said, but she can't prove it by me. She should have brought, brought herself poppy seed buns from the market. But now, now she, she just slept, slept and, and slept. You know, check off. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> Fake, damn it, and it took you three days to notice. No piercing, no tattoos. I practically pass out at the thought of a needle. You really think I'm gonna have the metaphor stabbed in my face? It's all a sham. I hate mean, the thought of doling out my brain so drugs are out. And your pure needle, don't forget that. My story! I have the talking stick. Yes, we can. You, we'll hit the road, go to the beach, whatever you two want is a okay by me. You know, honestly, you would think I was the most difficult person in the world to get along with. Back in the 60s, oh, it must have been 67, 68 maybe. I went to the beach with that famous British hair model, Robert Plant. <laughs> Well, he was going to the beach and I was following him. 